St. Paul is everything. The great place to raise a family. An appealing place to live, appealing place to work, and a great place to do business. St. Paul is a place for public and private investment. A place to grow your business, it's a place to grow your family, and it's a place to grow your community. I am so happy that we built our store in St. Paul. The city has been behind us, the city was wonderful. This is the reason if I build again, I'll probably build right here. Since we moved, uh, yeah, it's, it's been really, really busy. Our sales are up, our customer counts are up, our average ticket sales are up. We wouldn't be here at the Highland Grill without the Star Loan Program. The St. Paul Program invested in us and allowed us to invest further in ourselves and we just paid off our loan last year and we're really proud of that. And I reached out to uh, the city of St. Paul and they contacted me and asked, you know, what do you think about the Hams Brewery site? Absolutely fell in love with this building. So once we get this site back on its feet and back where it should be, that, you know, this site and the East Side of St. Paul will be a destination as well. We're creating a local food economy that not only will create uh, greater access for people um, in terms of eating fresh produce, but will also create jobs and hopefully then spur more economic uh, development. The light rail is going to really improve uh, that idea that um, uh, you know you move people, you can move a city, and I think that's that's why I'm here. That's why I'm I'm staying here. We moved here because we knew the light rail was coming in, so we wanted to make sure that we were in a really good location. We figured it would be a perfect opportunity to get us set up for the future. I'm hearing a lot of uh, different developments here um, in the community itself with more restaurants looking to open and myself looking to expand. Once the light rail comes through, it'll definitely be a nice, another big boost to uh, our traffic. The best way to have a strong city is when you have this strong connection and work together with the mayor and the school districts. It's a $120 million redevelopment, so it uh, takes a lot of different partners to, to make it feasible. Um, the biggest one, obviously, was the city of St. Paul. Without their partnership, it, it wouldn't have been feasible. What you're seeing is, is really investments being made in this facility that aren't necessarily going to increase its capacity uh, to a large degree or increase the amount of people that we employ. What we're doing is trying to keep the products we make today here in St. Paul as well as the people we employ today. When we started working with the Black Band of Ojibwe and we were looking at you know, marketplaces that they would like to go into from a hospitality perspective, St. Paul was a great fit. Working together with the city allows us as educators as well as the city to prepare the workforce in a better way. I believe in the, the workforce here in Minnesota and specifically in St. Paul is one of the best workforces in the world. We've been in this location for six years. Fortunate that the restaurant here was available at a time in my life where I was able to jump into it. And from here we chose to buy a house not too far away and stay in the neighborhood. There aren't a lot of 1903-era bars um, that are in the original location, that are in the kind of condition this is in. So looking at this bar and just thinking, wow, what a, what a treasure. And then I mean, we're basically trying to be that neighborhood pub that everybody in the neighborhood knows about and feels comfortable coming to. We get people from YZ, we get people from Duluth driving down here, Rochester. It's not uncommon that people come in here on Saturday and they'll say, we came up here to have breakfast and then we wanted to shop at your store because we've heard so much about it. Can you imagine what it's going to be like if we're up 30% in February, what it's going to do like in June, July and August? So it's just exciting to see all this activity happening, the jobs on site and, and the chance to see the lights back on at the brewery. First year revenue at Highland Grill was about $110,000 now we're a $20 million company with 430 employees. Right now we're, we're sitting at over 100 employees. Um, if you go back to 2009, we were just over half that level. And we expect to continue to grow, and, and most of that growth will happen right here in the city. 
you can see it both from a community standpoint, from a business standpoint, and from an individual standpoint. All the people investing, buying homes down here, the renovation of, of and the rejuvenation of Lower Town, and all the restaurants and food and beverage and the exciting scene that's down here. We're just so excited to be a part of that. St. Paul is an art leader and it's an opportunity for artists to live and work in the city. A community that supports growing businesses in ways that I don't think we'd see in other places. It's a place where we're really proud to invest in. The role model for urban agriculture nationally. St. Paul is diversity. In my mind, St. Paul is a place to grow. And be able to ensure that you have a quality of life with safety and an opportunity for your child to become a successful citizen in the future. For me, St. Paul is home. It's where I live, it's where I'm raising my family. Yeah, without St. Paul, I have nothing. With St. Paul, I've been very, very blessed. But St. Paul really is our city.